Bum, 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 bum. Hey y'all, I'll be there in just one second. I'm about to make you the best green bean casserole that you have ever had in your freaking life. Hold on y'all, I'm trying to get this, um, I want to share it on my face place. So how do I do the, um, all right, let me hit share. Give me a second. I'll be sharing this in a second. Where's the button? Share. Oh, Lord. Well, I want to share. Well, I'm just going to have to share it afterwards then. There it is. I want to share it to Face Place. Face Place. All right. Hold on. I guess it's kind of weird um, when you're recording audio text and people are watching you. I kind of forget, okay? All right. So if somebody is seeing this who is in the group, Leilani, if you're here, Tawana, will you please post this in the group? Okay, so now I'm going to cook. Here we are. How's everybody doing? Okay, so what is that? Chat viewing. I want to see all chat. I don't care about super chat. Okay, so today it's been a hot minute. All right, so I can't. I would, you normally would sing you a nice little song, but uh, I've been a little bit under the weather. Uh, so what the hell happened to music? I'm turning it down a little bit. There's uh, white people singing. Sometimes it gets me a little uptight, honey. If it's not a song where you can that you can sway to. So anyway, I hadn't been um, live in a while, y'all. I've been working. But you know, here it is. It is the holidays. And you know, some bitches don't know how to cook. Well, this fat bitch does know how to cook, honey. So, I'm gonna show you. You know, everybody brings like green bean casserole. Easy shit. Pop open a can. Get you some French onions. Let me turn the music back up. It's a little too low. Um, follow the recipe. Well, I say follow the recipe and then do your own damn thing, okay? That's the difference between uh, people really like enjoying your food and talking about your food, remembering your food, and people just uh, being grateful that you uh, filled a spot on their table for their little uh, rickety ass potluck, okay? Anyway, so. We're gonna start with the, like the base of the recipe that is on the uh, French's, uh, whatever fried onions. You know, I've tried the um, grocery store fried onions. I'm not a connoisseur of fried onions, honey. I don't have a basement where I keep my fried onions. You understand? I keep them right up here in this rusty ass pantry. I'm gonna wake up my kid. So anyway, so what we have here, so I'm actually using some uh, fresh green beans. So you can use the canned green beans, whatever it is. But I'm actually using fresh, okay? So I took them and I trimmed them. You see, I trimmed the ends. Both ends, they're clean, they're washed, they're dried. Now I'm just gonna make sure they're dry, y'all. Uh, let's come over here, because what I have here is a pot of water, and I'm actually just gonna blanch these green beans off. Now this is if you're using fresh green beans, honey. If you are just not inclined and you wanna use uh, some canned green beans, then you go right ahead and you don't even feel guilty about it because this shit's gonna taste good no matter what you do to it. So you use some canned green beans, honey. You use, I don't care. I don't care. Any kind of green beans, white green beans. I've seen purple green beans, honey. Use them, use them. So, we're gonna take these. We're gonna take us an onion. Now, we have a big old pot of water, as you may see. Now, if you have a bunch of chicken, stock like some people like freeze their chicken stock some people don't but if you happen to do that uh, then get you some real chicken stock but if you don't then get you some bouillon now this is the kind that I like I like the stuff that doesn't have MSG in it because you know basically it makes my back boobs swell up and I mean that's just not attractive on holidays honey especially in photos people always tend if you are uh, got back titties honey People always tend, when they take pictures of you, for some reason, they like to get a real down low, shadowed out uh, angle of your back titties. I don't understand. And it's always somebody skinny doing it too, honey. You know they, 
Oh, I didn't mean that. That's not the best angle, is it? Bitch, you know what you were doing. Please, you were sitting under them things for shade. Now you're snapping a picture, okay? Give me a break. Now, so what I do is um, I'm gonna blanch these green beans, but you wanna make sure that this water has got enough salt in it, y'all, because seriously, if you don't, your shit's gonna be bland, right? So add some salt to taste. And you can be a little heavy handed on the salt because again, we're not cooking them completely in here. We're just gonna blanch them, y'all. We're gonna blanch Devereaux these things right up in here, okay? Give a nice hot bath. Let me taste it. It needs more salt. Santa Claus. I can't believe I'm singing Christmas music already, y'all. I'm so excited. Of course, you know, right now I'm making a green bean casserole. But you know, nothing's more um, Christmassy or holiday-y than a um, casserole, right? What says love like a casserole? So while we're letting this come to a boil, y'all, I'm gonna go ahead and cut up this onion. So I would, so the recipe calls for a pound and a half. Let me see here. What does it say? Four cups. It calls for four cups of, well, you can look on the damn label. Look it up on Google, honey, for real. Uh, so it's four cups of cooked green beans, okay? Use fresh or frozen. So this is like, I would say what I have here is more like five cups. So I'm gonna be a little heavy handed on everything. But I would say for each thing, get you one onion. Now I got one of these big onions. Just to give you perspective, I'm a large man, 270 pounds, six foot, six foot one. Big fat ass onion. So get you a regular, a small Vidalia onion or big fat ass onion. Cut it in half, okay? So I'm going to take the little um, skein off. Here, let me zoom in over here. Bring y'all over here with me so you can see what's going on. I hope folks are here. Hey, Leilani, there's my boo. Hey, baby, I got banned immediately on Facebook because I was playing Eartha Kit, those motherfuckers. As soon as I got on Santa Baby, honey, they banned me. My shit went froze up, and I went to go back live again, and I couldn't go live. I was like, these people are a real trip. Eartha Kit, what's she gonna do? Sue me from the grave? God rest her soul, honey. Let me not be disrespectful to the kit. Now, what I'm doing here, let me show you. So t your green beans. So you get your green bean, honey. You see what it, how, the, how wide a green bean is? Maybe I should zoom in. All right, so you're seeing like how wide a green bean is, okay? So basically, I'm gonna take and I'm gonna cut this onion into strips about like, you know, the length of that green bean. Or at least the width, not the length. But. Oh, I know my mama, if she's watching this right now, is seriously, she praying in tongues right now. She always afraid I'm gonna cut myself. I don't cut myself. All right, so you see we got some nice onion. Now this is the little strips we have. You see that? Isn't that nice? Perfect. Now look, we we'll put it right up next to a green bean. So you see it's about the same. See? Boop, boop, boop. I like things to be consistent in bite. You understand? Does that make sense? Some of y'all who are um, do, have texture issues with food understand completely what I'm saying, okay? Sorry, y'all. If you got vertigo, sorry about that. You hadn't cooked nothing, Leilani. Yeah, but once you start cooking, you cook nonstop, don't you, baby? All right, so you see this pot of uh, is boiling now, y'all. So we're gonna get us our metal strainer. Don't put, listen, this is a great strainer for straining your green beans, honey, okay? This is the one you wanna put in boiling water. Don't drop this bitch down in boiling water, okay? And this is for, I'm not talking, if you know what you're doing in the kitchen and don't feel like I'm patronizing you, I'm talking to people that don't know what the hell they're doing. That are like, oh my God, I'm supposed to bring a dish tomorrow, I don't know what to do. Well, you can get all of these ingredients right now at the grocery store, especially fresh green beans. People don't try to mess around with fresh green beans. So you just have to commit yourself to being patient with the process, you know? Leilani, how's the sound? Can you hear me? All right, so we're just gonna drop these things gently. 
ever so gently down. Oh shit, well, we are right. Get on there, honey. You know you don't want to get your fat ass up there. Oh my God. All right, we're just gonna let that be. John Lennon and these green beans, honey. We're gonna let it be. It sounds good? Okay, good. All right, so now, while wow, we're waiting on those to come up to a barrel, a bowl, as Paula Dean would say, we're gonna heat up my favorite rancher pan. Again, this is the bottom, people ask me about this all the time. This is the bottom of my roasting pan. And if you're watching me on YouTube and you only watch me on Facebook and I'm wondering like, what the hell's going on? It's because I got banned for playing Earth the Kit. Earth the Kit. Santa Baby got me banned on Facebook. I'm talking about within minutes, honey. That woman don't play. Listen, she was about her business in life. She about her business in death and she said, oh no, honey. Your ass ain't playing my song for free, okay? No, 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 no. So, this is coming to a boil. Um, it's it's kind of, I would say this is close enough to a boil. Let's go and we're gonna do it for like three minutes. Cause I want this stuff to be done. And while that's going on, let's go and heat up your oven to 350, 350 degrees, okay? So, we got this pan getting hot. Is it hot? It's getting there. Ooh, it is getting warm. Okay, Leilani, look. Where's my spoon? I'm using my favorite spatula, which is this bamboo spatula that was given to me by my twin sister, Leilani Bradford. Uh, check out Leilani's Kitchen on YouTube and on Facebook. Check out our group on Facebook. Uh, crafting, cooking, um, decoupage, blah, 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 Justin, blah, blah, blah. Go on and join it. It's fabulous. So, we're waiting on all this to get ready. So, have you ever cooked a green bean casserole before? If you have, give me a thumbs up, baby. Now, uh, if you have a special, this is what I really wanna know. This is my favorite thing. So if you got like a special way to make your green bean casserole that makes it different from anybody else, share your recipe or your special secret below. You know, we ain't gonna tell nobody, shh. So, I mean, there's only four people watching, honey. Who the hell are we gonna tell? Okay, you think we gonna call Montel? Nope, not gonna happen. So look, so we are now blanching these green beans. Okay, we got two more minutes left. This shit's hot enough. So turn it down to like a medium high heat, okay? And we're gonna add some olive oil to it, okay? Just a little extra virgin olive oil. A couple tablespoons, you know, just enough to kind of coat the pan. Okay, hope you can see all right. Here, let me come a little bit closer. So what we're gonna do is take that onion, make sure this thing's on uh, medium low heat, or medium high heat, honey, because olive oil will burn real quick. Gotta go ahead and hit it with a little bit of salt. Get your pepper. Oh Lord, I'm wasting up the whole house. Dear Jesus, now take some pepper. Okay. We got about 40 seconds left on the blanch of these green beans, which is going to work out perfect timing wise. Oh, God, I love that smell. There is nothing better than the smell. Delani, don't you love that smell of like pepper and olive oil hitting the pan? I love that smell, honey. My God. Look at that. Perfect. I'm gonna let these green beans cook basically until right as they don't start to look real pretty and green. You understand? Let these onions get a good crisp on them, a good brown on them. Turn your kitchen timer off. All right. Let me go get rid of these, I'll be right back. Burn my damn skin off. Holy crikey. Alright, so we are gonna let that chill for a minute. It's gonna take this hot thing off. Where's my dang spoon? Here we go. So we got our onions. See they're getting they're just starting to soften up just a little bit. 
You like this warm and told her to add bacon. Oh shoot. I don't like that the comment disappears. I'm reading it and it disappears while I'm reading it. It's like they trying to make me read faster. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add in a little bit of butter. We're gonna lower your heat down to like a medium. We don't want it hot. We want it just like a nice medium heat, okay? Now what we're gonna do is add in just a little bit of butter, as much as you want. I'm gonna do like four or five pats of it, you know, just a little bit. And now, that's starting to melt. As soon as that starts to melt in there, y'all, get those green beans. Now, I've had those green beans over there uh, draining, and then I put a paper towel on there to kind of get the rest of the moisture out. And I'm gonna take these green beans, and I'm gonna saute them with this onion and this butter. You know, and you want to cook them down to about the, I'd say the tenderness of what you get out of a can. Because, you know, the recipe with, that we're using is the base recipe for this. So we're going to let these cook down just a hair. Keep them about medium-high heat. Let that come to a sizzle. And while that's coming to a sizzle, let's go ahead and get us a bottle of wine and open this sucker up, honey. Because, you know, we're going to have us a sip. Uh, and we're gonna pour a little of shit into the pan, okay? My mama gave me this. They didn't send me a check, so I'm not showing the brand. But it not it rhymes with roaster, okay? Y'all, don't forget to share this. Give it some likes. All that shit. If you're gonna troll me, go ahead. Leave comments, honey. Still, it helps me get views, okay? So let's get this thing on. Okay. Oh my gosh, that was so easy. I can't believe that worked. All right, we're coming back to this. Now you see everything's starting to get a nice brown on it, honey. So the best, what I want to do is um, I'm going to add a little bit more olive oil. You want to keep it not again not on a super high heat because you'll burn the shit out of everything. But you want it on like enough heat to where it's making noise. You see, it should sound like Judy Garland singing "Have Yourself a Merry Little Christmas" in the background. Now, grab one of them green beans. You ain't cooking with eggs, so you can grab it. You can taste that. Mmm. It's gonna need a little salt in the name of Jesus. Okay. Just a touch. Taste your food, honey. Each layer, you need to add flavor. Otherwise, people are just going, well, maybe you want them to stop asking you to bring food. You know? Keep bringing that bland shit and people will stop asking you, honey. And um, you might be a vegan. Uh, and I'll be asking yourself, well, can I substitute the ingredients in this for vegan friendly ingredients. Yes, you can, but your casserole's gonna taste like shit. I mean, I'm just gonna go ahead and let you know. I'm gonna keep it real with you. All right. Put them green beans on there. No green bean left behind because my fat ass sat there and cut those bitches and washed them and prepared them. All right, so now it's starting to get a nice little sear to it. Take some of that white wine, honey. Just glove, 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 glove. That's delicious. Now, get some of them bits off of there, honey. All right. So we're gonna let that kind of simmer a little bit. Now we're gonna take this pan right here. Let's go ahead and dump off. If you're real a cheap, if you real cheap, you can go ahead and save your little grippy ass broth. But I don't 
I mean, the idea of a green bean flavored chicken broth does not really make my nipples tweak, okay? It really don't do a thing for me. So now this is where we're gonna take the recipe and flip it around a little bit. So again, I'm following the base of this French's onion, whatever, whatever. So it says you need three fourths of a cup of milk. I'm gonna do what I want. We're gonna do it old school. We're gonna take a can. Let me get a spoon, because I know if I use my dang knife to scrape a can, I'll get a message from at least four people. So I'm gonna scrape it with an old spoon. All right, so we're gonna do a can of creamy mushroom. Keep it rolling. Now, we're gonna add in a can of, um, hold on. Yeah, that's good milk. We're adding a whole can of milk. You know, I saw a recipe, one of those things that, you know, like they show like the Food Network, one of those viral recipes, and it was a pioneer woman, and she did one of these green bean casseroles. I mean, it was it was cute, and it was pretty, but that shit looked bland. You know what I mean? Okay, so now, we've got this um, concoction that we're coming up with here. So look, we got a can of cream of mushroom, a can of milk. So now, since I was heavy handed on the green bean honey, look. I got some sour cream. Um, I'm using Frake Stones. It rhymes with Frake Stones, but these bitches, again, did not send me a check. So I don't give a damn whether I should label or not. But I will tell you, it is um, approximately, well, it's 16 ounces. So if you want to get one of them small containers, you can do that. But I use about half of that, okay? All right, look at this. Look at these green beans, honey. That's so pretty. The sizzling, getting softer. I have no voice left, y'all. I just got over being sick. I've been wanting to go see my friend Jed. You know, he just released a new album. And I've been wanting to go and listen to his music. And I had a dang stomach bug. And then I had a cold. And I'm just now getting my voice. And I'm so glad that we didn't, like, hang out when we were supposed to. Because he wouldn't have a voice right now. All right. I got a pack of extra sharp cheddar cheese. Now, if you want to know how much this is, it says that it is one and one and three-fourths of a cup of cheese. Okay. So now I'm adding that in there. Isn't that beautiful? Now what I am doing, I've got this on like a medium heat. I'm kind of letting this melt together a little bit, okay? But anyway, I saw the Pioneer Woman and she did this thing where she made like a roux. Booty hoo hoo. Dog named Boo. That base is delicious, but it needs just a touch more salt. Pepper. Wow. Right, let's get back to these green beans for a second. They need a little stir. Now we're talking. You see how everything's getting nice and brown, y'all? Now this particular green bean casserole I'm making to take over to my mama's tomorrow. And then tomorrow afternoon, I'm making a big, giant batch for my mother-in-law to take to uh, my fat-ass in-law's uh, extended uh a Thanksgiving celebration that they're gonna have on Friday. So it's gonna be a gigantic batch because you know, like I said, they all fat asses, but you know, my thighs rub together too, so people in cholesterol houses can't throw spatulas, okay? Alright, just check your temp your um green beans. They're almost I'd say, you know, I say it's pretty dang close to being tender. <laughs> Being tender. All right, different spoon, by the way. I'm not using the same spoon I just licked. But, you know, I'm taking this to my mama's house, you know. She used to change my diaper. I can lick the spoon. Mm. Now, here's what we're going to do right now. While this is um, simmering on a lower heat, now we're going to take some garlic. If you um real special, then go ahead and you can do your garlic fresh. But 
Ugh. I'm not inclined right now because you know it's 11 o'clock at night and I'm making a damn casserole. So I'm gonna take some of this stuff and I'm gonna let some of that juice get in there too. So I'm just gonna take and flick, flick. You know, just a couple of flicks, honey. That's all you're gonna do. Now, and the reason I'm doing this very last is because that garlic burns quick, y'all. And once you brown the garlic and get it real, just too brown, seriously, it'll start tasting like a baby diaper. It's disgusting. Now, I also cheat the garlic flavor a little bit because I take it off the heat real quick. Just gonna add some garlic powder to it, honey. This is country cooking. This is how we do it. Add a little bit of fresh, a little bit of this, whatever you find in the pantry. Where in the hell is the opening for this thing? Here it is. A little garlic powder. You know, give it a little dusting, honey, like a southern snow. It's not a blizzard, just a dusting. All right, now, one last time, put it back on the heat, and we're gonna hit it with a little more wine. And then we're gonna just give it, a, oh God, that smells good. And now what we've done is kept all that garlic from cooking too fast. And we're getting all those bits and pieces on the bottom of the pan, okay? Now, the way my granny used to cook green beans, you cook them till they're gray. Well, honey, we're just gonna cook them until they're, you know, they just look like they've been on the boat for a little too long, you know? <laughs> green is okay. Mm, that is delicious. So now, and uh, I've seen people add bacon. I've seen all kinds of stuff with this rest, with this dish. But as far as I'm concerned, bacon just overpowers the flavor of the of the dish. And plus, you know, there's always gonna be one bitch in the room that's like, "Does this have pork in it?" Yes, bitch, it has pork in it. Just save yourself having to cuss out one of your relatives, okay? And you know, it's always a hungry one that, you know, if you made a way the whole day to eat, she'd eat the bacon anyway, right? The ones complain about food. They're always the hungriest. Right, it does, Leilani. Finally, I saw a comment. So now, this is simmered down. Look at that, y'all. Is that not, can you not, I really wish you could smell. I really do wish you could smell this, but look. You can just see the flavor is in that gravy down at the bottom of it. Now you understand what I'm about to do? I think you do. Oh yes. But I'm gonna do it the bougie way. Y'all know the bougie way. Let me show you the bougie way. How they always do it on the Food Network. Now, first of all, before you start mixing all this together, that green bean is just right. It's just past the point of being crunchy, and we don't want it to be crunchy right now. Now, get your pan out. You're gonna get you a pan. This is, this is for those uh, girls or men, gentlemen who um, are last minute are deciding that they're gonna do this dish. You know you can find this at the grocery store right now, baby. I promise you. So now, we're gonna do it the Food Network way. Just because I think it's pretty and nice. Now, when, it's, when I bake this, one thing I do wonder. Stir time. Okay, you do that last five minutes. Okay, so now. God, this is making my mouth water. Okay, so now we're gonna assemble this baby. We're gonna assemble it. Oh my God. By the way, we've got the oven heated to uh, 350 degrees. All right, let's do this. Get all that bit, all that stuff, y'all. And again, if you want to make a green bean casserole from just the recipe, and you're watching all this and you're like, why in the hell I am, is he doing all this for a green bean casserole? Well, bitch, I love my family more than you do. 
Seriously, if you love your family, take a little time and do a little extra. That's it. So I say, if you love your family, this is the kind of recipe that you will get, bring them or commission someone else to do. So now we've got our green beans cooked down. So now we just take our little bougie ass sauce. You know what I forgot to add into this? Actually, no, I didn't. I added so much wine to the green beans, I'm not adding anymore. Sometimes I add a little wine into the, um, because it tastes good, that's right, baby. So now look, I'm just gonna pour it over the top. Oh my God. I'm, I have, I mean, I have really turned myself on at this point. I don't need any help from anybody because this food is doing the job all on its own. Oh my God. Do y'all understand? Whole milk, sour cream, extra sharp cheddar cheese, white wine, garlic, caramelized onions. Now, get close. Now, just make sure it just all goes over the edges, just touches the edges, honey. Cause it's just gonna seep down into those green beans and just cook them. Oh my God. I just really, mm. Now, get you another pack of extra sharp cheddar cheese. All right, if you don't wanna use that, then don't. Oh wait, you know what I'm gonna use instead, y'all? I really like this. I thought this was an interesting idea. So, I really like this cheese, this Havarti cheese. Have you ever had it before? It's that cheese with a hole in it. It's always, that any cheese with a hole in it is real pungent. But, the thing I like about it is with a vegetable, it really makes you forget about the fact that you're eating a freaking vegetable. So, I'm using Havarti cheese on the top. You see? Just lay that cheese down, honey. Havarti. Mm. All right, one more slice. Now, this is gonna go in the oven for 30 minutes. And at the end, after 30 minutes, you're gonna take it out, or just slide it out. Take the um, onions, the dirty onions, the French fried onions, and then you're gonna sprinkle those all over the top. Put it back in the oven for five more minutes, and then boom. Shit's ready to go. Or from this point, you let it completely cool, put it in the refrigerator for up to 48 hours, and then you're gonna bake it again at 30 minutes, probably 35 minutes if it's been in the fridge, and um, five minutes on the dirty onions or whatever the hell kind of onions you're using. And Bob's your uncle, honey. The best green bean casserole that you've ever had. Now, if you wanna see the finished one, I'm gonna post it on my Instagram at Justin is here, y'all. Uh, and um, also on my Facebook under uh, BigBaldFatAss.com. Just kidding. Justin Porter. I uh, love me some Justin. It's Facebook.com slash love me some Justin. Or my group, which is crafting, cooking, decoupage, and uh, uh, all kinds of shit uh, with Justin the Deco Art. All right. I love y'all. I love you, Leilani. If anyone was chatting, um, sorry I didn't see you, honey. I'm delirious and sweaty. This shit's gonna be on time, all right? Let's put it in the oven real quick. And then we're gonna call it a night. Can't wait to share the finish. Pass the roll. Bye y'all. Have a happy and safe Thanksgiving.